Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. So, by the title, you guys know that I have done this video before if you guys have been sticking with the channel, but I decided to make this video over again and break it down to five easy steps because last time it was pretty broad and generic and you really couldn't go along with it. So, now I'm gonna show you guys five easy steps on how to start your sneaker collection. But before I continue on with the video, I do want to start off by saying that I am teaming up with a company called Swift Cop, and what the company has to offer you guys is something called a sneaker Bible. And I thought right now would be the perfect time to announce it because what it is is basically what it sounds like. It's basically a book showing you guys how to become a sneakerhead and teaching you everything you guys have to know and the first time i teamed up with this company was before the summer started it is when i had my old r sneakers channel but now i thought of it and i think i do have a new audience there is some new people here and there so i figured why not announce this to you guys all over again not only that but the owner of the company did hit me up and tell me that he was adding another 80 pages to it so at first there was only 80 pages to the sneaker bible but now there's going to be 160 to the update and right now would be a perfect time to go ahead and buy it if you guys do use my code on the website you guys do get a discount the code is r sneaker and the website will be down in the description so you guys can go ahead and click on that and go ahead and purchase it through there and make sure to use my promo code to get a discount anyways moving on with the video this video might get a little lengthy but it is something you want to listen to because if you are starting out becoming a sneakerhead it is something you want to know I made sure I got the most useful information for you guys so you guys can start a sneaker collection and become a sneakerhead because I'm pretty sure if you're watching this you're most likely either starting your sneaker collection or you just don't know where to start so anyways here it is so the first thing you want to do is have a source of income this is the most important thing because if you obviously don't have a source of income you can't buy shoes that's the first obvious thing i should actually correct what i said instead of having a source of income you should have a constant source of income it shouldn't just be like just a one-time kind of thing you should have a constant source of income just because there always is going to be new shoes releasing and there is going to be times where you want more than one pair of shoes and the two things i wrote down is that you could get a job or you could just use your parents for money i mean getting a job is obviously preferred because that means you can fund yourself you don't have to worry about somebody else funding you and eventually in life as life goes on you are going to have to fund yourself somehow some way i mean if you have somebody funding you for the rest of your life that'd be awesome but for the most part you do want to move on in life so you do want to get a job and not only that but when you're funding yourself that means you can spend that money on whatever you want you don't have to worry about if somebody else is funding you you can only spend it on certain things because i know when my parents were funding me back then they said i can only spend my money on certain things and i didn't like that and that's when i actually started to get a job and then i started spending money on whatever else i wanted and that's basically how this sneaker collection behind me grew and while on the topic about spending money i'm going to move on to number two which is knowing your budget obviously if you get a job you're going to have a certain amount of money that you're only going to be able to get because you're only able to work a certain amount of hours you're only able to get a certain amount of money so you're limited to the amount of money you can get therefore you do have to limit the amount of money that you spend so every time you do get a paycheck or some source of money i recommend that you limit it to certain percentages this i can't really speak about exactly what percentage to split it into because i don't even know how i spend my money i just kind of try to save as much as possible but if you guys want me to make a video on how to actually budget your money and how to split it into certain percentages then i could make a video on that and that goes more into like a finance topic which is not something i really want to get into in this channel but if you guys really want me to and you guys want to know how to budget your money then i will definitely make a video on that showing you guys how to do so next up on the list is number three once you found your budget find a sneaker that you like and one thing i do want to say about finding sneakers that you want to buy is don't always buy into the hype because if you do that you have the chances of getting a shoe that you won't end up liking i do have a few shoes in my collection that i don't like but i bought them because they were hype in some sort of way and not only that but sometimes when you buy into the hype you are going to hurt your pockets because like i said you're not buying the shoes that you like so you're buying them for no reason you're pretty much buying them just to have them and i feel as a sneaker collector you should buy shoes that you like as far as finding sneaker goes you can also find deals in many places my first source to you guys would be to find deals on Twitter. So some Twitter accounts I wrote down for you guys would be Adidas Alerts, Kicks Finder, Soul Links, Sneaker Steel, Kicks Deals, and Kicks Under Cost. The main four are Soul Links, Sneaker Steel, Kicks Deals, and Kicks Under Cost because those four accounts are always tweeting deals. Like they might be $20 off, $10 off, sometimes they're half off and you can really find good deals there. Even though there's some shoes that not everybody wants, maybe it is a shoe that you like. And this has happened to me. I've seen shoes that I like, I just didn't feel like buying them. But I remember I liked them when they first released and I liked them when the deals came up and I tell myself, you know what? you really don't need these and like i said before this is where you take into account the budgeting because you can't just be always buying shoes like the world does not revolve around sneakers even though this is a big lifestyle it doesn't mean that the world should revolve around it another place to find deals which isn't really the main place it's a place you can find deals on shoes that you probably like and others don't is go and stock x there's shoes that you might like that other people don't like or shoes that you really like but they just didn't make the hype you can find a shoe that you really like for lower than retail sometimes because people buy them thinking they're hype and end up having to sell them because they're sitting on them i actually have a few shoes that i'm sitting on right right now because I thought they were going to be hype but in the end I just had to sell them at a lower price because of that exact reason so usually what I do when I see a shoe that I like I go on go or stock x and look at the shoe and try to see what people are offering or see what people are selling them for and if I like the price then I'll go ahead and pull the trigger like I saw these ace tangos 17.1s they were part of the kith cobra release I wanted to buy them but I didn't because I ended up buying the triple black japan nmds so therefore I didn't end up buying them and I ended up just keeping these but I plan to buy those sometime in the future because I know the price is not going anywhere as a matter of fact their price went 
went down. And this is the Kith shoe we're talking about. Kith shoes do have hype in them, but I guess this one in particular did not. The last place to find deals, which is a really, really good place, is eBay. However, you do have to be really careful because on eBay, there is a lot of scammers. There's people always selling fakes. They have their ways to work around the system sometimes. And you just gotta be really careful. I wanna give you guys tips on how to buy on eBay, but I don't wanna do it in this video because then this video would just get extremely long. But if you guys want me to make a video on that also, let me know in the comments down below. And like I said, I will do so. But main things about finding sneakers that you like is don't buy into the hype, find sneaker deals on Twitter, find sneaker deals on StockX and Go, and also find sneaker deals on eBay. The fourth step is pretty simple, is just go ahead and buy the sneakers. But before you do, make sure you're confident with the purchase. Don't just buy it just because. Make sure you actually like the sneaker, make sure you're able to buy it, make sure you'll be fine financially afterwards when you buy the sneaker. You don't want sneakers to be the reason you messed up financially. And last but not least, step number five is to repeat the process. Go through step number one, make sure you have a source of income. If you already have that, you can skip to step number two, and that is knowing your budget or budgeting your money. Then you can go to step number three, which is finding the sneakers that you want to buy. And then step number four, buy the sneakers and repeat the process. The way I used to do this was buying at least one sneaker a month. So this is how I grew my collection over time. And there'd be times that I'd buy two or three or maybe four sometimes in one month. And that's how mine grew substantially in over a year, pretty much. So I guess part of step number five is finding a time when you can buy the pair of shoes. So if you're financially able to buy a pair of shoes every month, go ahead and do so. If you're able to buy one every two months, go ahead and do so. If you want to be consistent with that schedule, then go ahead. That's how I was. But the way I did it, sometimes, like I said, I bought more than one pair of shoes a month. So that sped up my process a little more. And that's pretty much the five easy steps to starting and growing your sneaker collection. If I happen to miss anything, leave your questions down below and I will get to you guys as soon as possible. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Unfortunately, last month, we didn't make the cut of making 20,000 subscribers by the end of October, but we did hit 19K. So thanks to all you that have subscribed. It really does mean a lot. It is pushing me to make these videos. And I know last month videos were kind of whack. I'm really trying to make the best content possible for you guys now. I'm really trying my best to make every single video I put out for you the best that I possibly can and the most entertaining and the most useful for you guys. Really, 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 really trying hard to upload consistently every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and sometimes Sunday. But I know that this Saturday, I will be posting my entire sneaker collection. Even though you guys can see it right behind me, I will make a whole collection video talking about my sneakers. There's a few more here and there that aren't behind me and more, some more down there out of the frame. They do have stories to them and I'm pretty sure people usually like seeing other people's sneaker collections. So I figured why not just show you guys mine. I apologize for this video being very long, but one more thing I do owe you guys is the giveaway winner of the month of September. I know I'm already over a month late, but I do owe you guys this and I promise you guys I would do it. I didn't forget about it. And I'm not gonna show you guys on the computer anymore because that just takes too long. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't even care about watching all that. You guys just wanna know who wins. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it out directly. For the month of September, the winner is Cam T. Big shout out to you. You did just win the giveaway for the month of September. I will be in contact with you shortly to put something together for you because it does give me enough time to talk to Cam and figure out his prize and ship that and all that. As far as the first fan of the day for this month, that does go to It's Just Jaden. Big shout out to you, bro. You were the first one to comment on my latest video and you did just enter the giveaway for the end of this month. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for today. I will see you guys on Thursday, so make sure to stay tuned to that video. Anyways, guys, make sure you stay woke. It's your boy, Sneaky Sign out.